Why do we have five fingers on each hand? A theory suggests that we have five fingers because together they make a perfect strong grip. Using them, we can operate small objects with great control and precision. Second theory suggests that three molecules called BMP, WNT and SOX9 are responsible for our five fingers. Since in our embryonic stage, they mark out spaces specifically for these five fingers. Finally, Lim Law predicts that the number of fingers on our hand should be around five based on the idea that since fingers must be able to reach back over our palm and cover it, the finger length should be roughly the same as the diameter of our palm. Hmm. What is the main cause of stuttering? In our brain, Wernicke's area and Broca's area control our speech and language. Wernicke's area helps in choosing the correct words to express our thoughts. Whereas Broca's area is believed to be involved in producing movements in vocal folds, tongue, etc., thus allowing us to speak those words. Now, stuttering can occur if a brain injury or stroke huh? either damages the Broca's area or reduces the blood flow to this region, thus not allowing it to produce movements properly. Hmm. Do plants really poop? Firstly, some plants get rid of their waste material by peeling off their bark, as well as by shedding off their leaves. Secondly, some plants get rid of their waste material in the form of secretions, such as latex, gum, resin, etc. Thirdly, some plants remove their excess water through tiny pores present on the margins of their leaves. This process is called guttation. Lastly, carnivorous plants like Venus flytrap catch insects, extract their juices, and then open up, thus allowing the waste material to fall off. Hmm. What causes people to be allergic? An allergy occurs when our immune system mistakenly identifies a normal innocuous substance as a harmful intruder. Hence, it produces antibodies to kill the intruder and in the process gives rise to itching, runny nose, watery eyes, etc. Thus causing an allergy. Hmm. Now, according to hygiene hypothesis, if children are kept in extremely clean environments and not exposed to germs at all, then their immune system fails to develop properly and instead huh? starts attacking harmless substances, thus causing an allergy. Huh? Why do humans have eyebrows? Firstly, our arch-shaped eyebrows help channel our sweat as well as the rain towards the sides of our faces, thus protecting our <laughs> eyes. Secondly, eyebrows help us express a wide range of emotions like surprise, anger, etc. Lastly, eyebrows also help in recognizing faces. In a study, scientists found that participants had a tougher time recognizing people's faces when their eyebrows were erased. Hmm. Like humans, do animals also dream? Humans dream during their rapid eye movement stage of sleep or REM sleep. Hmm. In a research, the brain activity pattern of a rat running for some cheese and the one during its REM sleep was found to be similar. Hmm. Moreover, a singing bird's brain activity while singing and while in its REM sleep also showed similarity, thus indicating that perhaps animals dream of their daily activities. Hmm. Why are some people claustrophobic? Claustrophobia is an anxiety disorder. It is an intense fear of confined or enclosed spaces. Symptoms of claustrophobia may include shortness of breath, faster heartbeat, sweating, etc. Hmm. Some researchers believe that a defect in one of our genes may be the cause of our claustrophobia. Hmm. It is also believed that if one of our parents has claustrophobia, huh? then we are more likely to have it. Finally, it is also believed that our fear of enclosed spaces may be stemming from a traumatic childhood event like being stuck in an elevator. Hmm. What exactly huh? is altitude sickness? I think, I think, 
I think it might be a burger or a pizza. Oh, chump hum. We can develop altitude sickness if we climb rapidly. Our body is not able to adjust to reduced oxygen, as well as changes in air pressure. Hmm. The mildest form of acute mountain sickness, or AMS, typically occurs above 2,500 meters, with symptoms such as headaches, tiredness, dizziness, etc. It can further progress to high-altitude pulmonary huh? edema, thus making it difficult to breathe, and further to high-altitude cerebral edema, huh? as in swelling of the brain. The best way of preventing altitude sickness is to increase elevation by no more than 300 meters per day. Hmm. What is the huh? science behind a jellyfish's sting? No idea. I bunked all my science classes. Oh, chum pum. Jellyfish's tentacles contain thousands of venom containing stinging cells called conidocytes. Conidocytes are basically small compartments which house many needle like stingers. The stinger lies coiled under high osmotic pressure. Hmm. Now, when there is a trigger due to an external force, the lid of the stinging cell pops open and seawater rushes in. This forces the mini needle like stinger to shoot out, penetrate, and finally inject venom into the victim. This discharge can occur in less than one millionth of a second. This is how a jellyfish stings. Hmm. Why is ketchup so difficult to pour? No problem. Just use a tomato. Huh? Oh, chum pum. Firstly, as compared to water, Ketchup has a higher viscosity. Viscosity is the resistance of a fluid to flowing. That means ketchup provides more resistance to flowing as compared to water. Ketchup consists of many ingredients. But if we look closely, the solid parts of the ketchup, as in the tomato bits, are actually touching each other. This physical connection of the tomato bits gives ketchup the strength to resist flowing. Hence, ketchup is so hard to pour. Hmm. Why does my foot fall asleep? Don't worry, I will wake it up. Oh, chum pum. Nerves are like cables which run through our entire body. Their main function is to carry electrical impulses or messages between our brain and our body. Now, when we sit on our foot, the nerves in that area are temporarily compressed. Hence, these nerves are not able to send any message to our brain or receive any message from our brain. As a result, the connection between our brain and our foot is cut off. Hence, huh? it feels like our foot has fallen asleep. Hmm. Why do humans huh? have so many moles? Simple, because I invented them. Huh? Oh, chum pum. Our skin has cells called melanocytes. They give our skin its color. However, sometimes these cells tend to grow in clusters, thus huh? forming moles. Moles can be present at birth or can appear later in life. Huh? They are usually black or brown and can be flat or raised. Some moles may even disappear with age. 